welcome to Saturday's edition of Augusta Ali Podcast. Let's go with Elevation. Elevation time. We got Nala Rose, Emma Sakura with Vicky, and Lulu versus Chris Steinlander, Rio Mizumi. So, the so Mizumi and Sakura started to start the match, and then he traded shots back and forth. Sakura got the best of her, went right to the bow and arrow. Mizumi countered Nesson to a high back body drop. And this time she got the better of her chops before tagging Stanley in. Stanley and Mizumi was double teaming before Sakura playing Stanley in her face, tagging Rose. Rose played a role the ML object, and Stanley pinball right before tagging Sakura to tag back in. She slapped Lulu pin Lulu around and tagged Rose back in. Stanley took her down with cross cross-eyed tag Mizumi in. Mizumi hit Rose with a spoon super, but Sakura ran in to break up the pin. Rose with top rope for a set down splash on Mizumi to with the win. A very solid opener for this is elevation. We got Kazarian versus Victor Benjamin. The Kazarian, mm-hmm. so he starts the match with Victor Benjamin, and Victor Benjamin was waiting to make his AEW debut. So, anyway, so also she's, he's married to Lady Frost. Kazarian took him off his feet with Drunken, lost to Whoopi, then knocked him down with Larry for a fun chicken free cross wing. Kazarian made it look easy, but it was a surprise. The surprise fact that somebody had to put Frost and Benjamin in AE on AE of Program and had intergender cast. He had love to see it. So let's go straight to Rio versus Kayla Sparks. And now we go into Rio. Rio starts with a 619. He had a hoop, hoop to Grace before finishing Sparks for bridging for Fisher Woman Suplex. This was a total squash. It is building up for Rio's return to the women's division. We got FTR versus Waves and Curls. So the match begin. Like the match begin. All to note, Trevor and Jordan is a tall the two. That didn't make a difference. Brady didn't take a B with a both members of FTR until he called the Jordan for hot tag. FTR pretended to be knocked down when he came in and Mommy tried to move one move and hit him with a big rig for the pin. Mark Henry was amused. Tony Conti versus Little Mean Kathleen. And here goes the match. So Kazi sold no on her offense. Hit three pump case, did a TTT and pinned her. Those dominant one side went on the entire show. We got the best friends versus the acclaim as Pepetico. So Cassie will get his head rock. About to get eliminated. The rest off Paul White doesn't want to get out of the building. No shit. That was a dream to say Boston. I Cassidy took it to my kid. Yo, yo, listen. Then hit Bones with a shin kick. The boy in the wrist seemed kick up his feet and said, Word to your mother. The, the match was officially under the way. Chuck was right over to claim with Larry. Josh Sepico on all of them. Both of them. Cassidy by tagging the fellas to Petrico with a half. See, my car. The always got to take off his feet with a cross body. Cassidy interfered for the outside. Technical efforts only let him be. I don't want to play. I don't, I don't care. Okay, Chris Stanley came down the ring, so best friends gave him a boss to give him a boss to the group hug. They want to see an elevation right off the air. That was pretty much elevation. I will see you for dark soon. I will see you dark right away. Hello, this is now elevation. Let's get to it. Elevation show starts with the AAA Tag Team Champions, FTR, said they will get anybody in the world tied at that. They are already 2 one against us, so they want to prove their Lucha Living Legends on Diamond this week. They hope that Twitter Continue Bunch and negotiate a deal to make them do that. And now we go to Ortiz and Santana versus Joe Coleman, Idris, Abraham. Santana and Abraham will start the match off right away. You can help but notice... Abraham's huge afro, Satan was not shot by pulling up by hair, their suplexes, T's tags in, drag Coleman to the ring, leave for tagging Satan back in, they destroyed him, they destroyed Abraham, Satan shoot, stood on with a boot from the pin, I think Ian and Jabronis were here tonight, said second, second offense, but Abraham got still a cool afro. We have Nyla Rose with Garado versus Viva Van. This was Nyla Rose squash match. She finished it with a beast bomb and got the win for Nyla Rose. Yep, so it was much of a squash. But at least Van got some hits, some few moves before she got destroyed.
we got Lee Johnson and Brick, Brock Anderson with Arn versus Eli Knight and Malik Bosen. This was a big match. So Johnson tagged in, saying he had not took out both men for a tag. Brock for a bite muscle, did a frost bash onto the pro back for a good measure. And Brock made the cover. It's a Thanksgiving already. We had a open comp, a squash on the table tonight. We got Garcia with Tupelo versus Ricky Shane Page. Garcia's for an AEW something. So Garcia worked over the left knee of RSP at will. Dropped a hammer on him, dropped, kicked him in the face, and choked him out of the ropes on the knee. 2.0 worked them over where Garcia strapped the record by and Bryce Spurs are right needed. At one point, RSP tried to mount a comeback by tossing Garcia went for a choke. RSP slammed Garcia on his head for a show and came charging out of the ball. Garcia went for a guillotine choke for the second time. We thought it was a working switch for a near naked choke or was a beard call for a bell. RSP got more offense than anybody in this show so far. Okay, Dark Orders, Reynolds, Silver with versus Sean Carr and Marcus Cross. So Carr tried to leap off the ropes. Reynolds just walked late, let us flat on the mat for attacking Silverhand. Besides him, the drop kicked for Silverman a couple for the fall. Silverman so head scissors ran and drop kick. Tag Reynolds back in, but Carr finally managed to tag out Cross, who could have crossed body. Should have been his finishing move. Carr Silver tagged in through Cross from ease. Reynolds got the ball, stacked up their post corner for a dark DDT for the victory. We got the acclaim versus Shivam and Dante Smile, a squash match. We got a wrap for the squash match. So, Bang dropped Bowens with a kick to the head. Smiley came and tried to follow up a kick to the jaw. Bowens was having a tag cast for taking him down with a knee. Vaughn got back by drop onto his own partner. Partner Bowens uh, smiling up with Castle K on top of for the mic drop in their AEW Dark Squash in books. We got Santana Garrett versus the Bunny. So, so we had Bunny slapped her around and dared to fight back. When she tried to do that, she got put down with running and stomped on. Bunny put a boot to Garrett's throat and got warning to break clean. Garrett blocked the charm from the boot. That Bunny with a right hand did a spring elbow and nailed Bunny with a super kick. She went for a back flip onto Bunny but missed. The Bunny sent him down a rabbit hole that the shade. I saw Bunny needed a win for Rampage. Bunny had to be, be over Garrett. Bison XL and Toya Leon versus 2.0 with Tag Garcia. 2.0 worked, worked over Bison and basically they kept dominating him and then they tagged in Yona and then he died fighting back. So Leon came in, hit a basically a back drop, drop a double shoulder tackle. Sold the idea match was one at this point and tagged his part Bison for a double team finisher. Garcia got an apron to interfere with left for Leon 2.0 to hit the two for the show. Bison for the win sign. Uh, XL Lion post haste. So, so let's get to the Red Velvet versus Charlotte's Whale. This was a big match, and Red Velvet hit the kick for the victory. So, but after the match, Bunny came out and the deck filled with the brass knuckles, and the crowd kept singing for a bit. And Boo Bunny, she mocked them on her way out. We got Bayou Fish versus Ryzen. This was a good hard pinning match. So, so Fish hit a hurrah hit the man nearly choked conscious and pinned him. So now Fish is now getting in blood. We got Fuel of Del Sol versus Tony Nice. It was a really good hard hitting match. Tony Nice got the got the victory with the running knee to the head and the pin. So Nice picked up his win at AEW in his debut. So feel feel got nearly 50-50 with him. The way they worked the match, and it was pretty good. We got Pac versus Tiger Ross. So this was a good match. Pac got a side head over takeover. Ross Ross got back to the feet. Referee heard a call for the queen break. Pac got another head takedown, and Ross had to fight his feet again. They trade arm to the yet side headlock takeover. Do you smell fresh crisp cut now? Because Ross is incredibly green, so Pac was just keeping things basic. I saw his pro and it looked stupid. Pac dropped Russ with a shoulder box and then Pac finished it with a with brutalizer for the victory. So this was a good match. And this was AW Dark. I will see you for Dynamite in a second. Here's a short break for a little short break. Back for our break, let's review Dynamite. 
let's talk about Kenny gets on the mic, like gets on the mic or something. Yeah, he gets on the mic. He gets on that mic. As he beats five. Yeah, he beat five. K said he never had a chance to thank five. God for wrestling. He always gives and always takes away. He asked for a chair, the Kyrie Child combo shit. Here comes Adam Page to save five from OWA on a chair. Kenny ducks the buckshot, skates the ring, Hammond holds the belt, takes the mic. He said, hey, Kenny, I forgot something, so he played nice, let it right there, tell you, 10 days left for the belt. Yeah, this was something of a segment. Next week will be the, the contract signing. I hope they'll do, they'll do a great job with the contract signing. It'll probably be great. So let's go with Malachi. Malachi here. He talks about men of power. Making a decision to serve more than their own interests. He talks about Cody Khan, Brian, the wingside, serve no one. It says it won't matter when Julius Caesar was killed, it was just Marcus that betrayed him. There's a hint. There's a hint of something to come. So it's gonna be like Cody is hinting towards winning him, Bray Wyatt debut at full gear. It's time for CM Punk to give his mandate a weekly CM talk. Tony said he looked very serious this week, crowd chance for him. He talks about Moxley, then goes to Eddie Kingston being disrespectful. The ex Kingston came out. And got a little head down, full gear stuff. No, actually, yeah, he came out full. Came, he came out rampage. Well, I'll review in a minute. But CM Punk called out Eddie Kingston for a challenge, like a, a talk at rampage. So yeah, that was a CM Punk promo. It was pretty good. Yeah, CM Punk promo. We got Miller speaking with a god. He, he warned God, he threatened, he waited patiently, and now he's in the title tournament. He asked God to win. Anyway. Mira asks God fears him, yet God needs to prove himself to him. He will forgive God if he wins. This is basically about Mira and God. It will lead to something. I'm hoping something. And we're going to Marvez. After the leap, what's their plan for full gear? They talk about their plans. Then Christian wakes up. He's talking to Christ. He's got source here. It was a brawl. It spilled up, then Jungle Boy joined the fray, jumped on them, then and finished the call off with the Concerto to end the Raw, basically end the segment, it was good. We got Ruby Riot talking about the TSBS, TBS belt, she says the announcement was monumental, Chris said she would never wrestle Ruby, she knows her well, Ruby says the fight will be hard, Chris says she already to lead the leader, but the goal won't hurt her. She is backstage last week. She won the 50th match. Nana wants to Vicky. Karashita said, You're hit few B bumps, but I'm roadblock on fighting next week. She looks ready to spar, but then breaks kid. Maybe next week. America's mm-hmm. top team is here. He introduces dudes. Jury DeSantos is selected. Here he does a Popeye impression. I don't know how to spell this guy's name. Let's go, such a page. A girl goes, exchange some words. She wants to fight. Jericho said, Fuck, we choose Lambert. The center is a fesco and we fight air circle full gear. This was to set up the Minnesota Street Fight full gear next Saturday. So can't wait for that. It is gonna be awesome. We got Rush, Dante here with my side out. Matt is still with, with Louise and Dante here on the train with Leo. We got good sitters around like Leo Mora. Leo said Leo's 10, but not good as Dante. So the tag team match is gonna be next week. So I can't wait for that tag team match. We got Brit, Brit Jamie, Red beat up Annie at Anna after a match. After she lost to Hater, Ty came up to get them off. They fired Thunder Rosa came down. Brit got knocked that. So now Hater will fight Rosa in the next in the tournament, and next week will be a six man tag. So we got Jay with with is with Mark. He said everything will know she has a bye. He undefeated. Red Bull will fight. Bonnie on Rampage, where we're gonna lose to her. She's trying to make it a short sweet. You were ready the bell. <sighs> that bitch bell. Sorry for the pause. It was a little iffy. Mm-hmm. We got MJF promo. He talks about being one step ahead. Darby Allen. Then, uh, then Darby Allen comes out. A brawl started. Sting, Arrest came in. Darby Allen got the head off on MJM. Darby, Darby ever said he will wrestle MJM for full gear to keep his cool. And Darby let all his anger on MJM. So, next week will be the go home show. And I hope that it does make big impact for the pay per view, for the buy in. So, uh huh. We 
We got FTR Tole Andrade that beat the shit out of Cody after the match. Andrade beat Cody. Or Tole face off. The Lucha Bros jump in to stop it. A brawl is choose to end end the segment of the match. So so now the main event: Miro versus Orange Cassidy. Miro was dominating the match. Miro got the victory with a sim, with the game over. And Miro got. So yeah, he got the win with the game over. Yeah, he got the win with game over. Yeah, Miro won the match. So thank you, everybody. Again, thank you, everybody. There was a long pause, but I'm gonna say this. I'll see y'all. On, I'll I will do I will do rampage in a in in a second. But here's a little final fi- one final break. See ya. Okay, we're back. Let's get to Rampage recap. Let's start with Danielson versus Anthony Bowens. This was match set up by through social media by Joey Khan. After answering the claim, wanting a tag match against him, Cassidy came out to sing Danielson's rap, and Bowens started controlling the action on the face of Slicker and Sheamus. Danielson fired him a kick to the chest in the groove. In the groove, and she, the action spilled outside when Cassidy closed on Danielson. Later, when Danielson dished out a payback when he dropped it to Caster, also tells Bowens down the ring to the top of the trapper. Danielson falls with a cross body down to the floor on the claim back to the ring. Danielson used a flying missile drop kick and stun Bowens with a label walk for the win. Danielson beaten Anthony Bowens. Tony Chavant spoke with Andre, FTR, and JF by Hayden Cody. Rose, Andre, assistant, handed over two envelopes. Oops, of cash and pay NJF for his services of FTR. Dark Turner haul out pack before the match on Dynamite. We got Punk and Eddie Kingston promo battle. Punk invited Kingston to the ring. Music hit. Eddie didn't show. Punk taunted the high by speaking for that Kingston would feel compelled to erupt as badly when Kingston did. Kingston leans to his tough guy role to call out Punk a low by scum but joined him so many years. Punk shot back. He was, hold- he was holding Kingston high standards due to the tower showing. It was a mistake to do today because Kingston had some become a bum. Kingston stood up with threats of violence. Punk did a back down. Kingston is a challenge for a gold game paper from the event 13. Punk asked the crowd for their opinion but accepted. Kingston warned he is not concerned when losing intent on hurting Punk. Punk first with bombs with a hood but a melee issues. Officials try to break it up. See ended with both men giving crazy eyes. So this is a summary of any of just nuggets of the attire from the punk and Kingston scene. Kitchen Cage and the Express were amused at the Bucks and Uncle after my tough glass and want to test with a fall foul. Any more trios match at full gear. Shane Cargill and Mark Sterling were front row Sky and Women's Trials match. And TS title first round final match first round. Bunny vs. Velvet. Velvet spin to the ring and cut her hands on the opponent. Bunny rolled out of Clara Wicks, but Velvet closed her down to the floor. Bunny used the iPhone to lose curb bump to gain control. Draka set Velvet head for his turn bump without a stretch. Bunny executed a DVD and dress kick, which she sent for Fisher. Velvet counter a red close to break up for the victory. Red Velvet defeated Bunny to advance in the TV Championship Tournament. Afterwards, saw real sassy each other. Started coming out of class, said physical for the match tournament. Upcoming match, it will be quite good. We got Marquette interview in the main event participants. We got the BTE jokes. We capping the feud between Cole and Silver. Cole was trying to fire a gay. You can see Silver as I try to make a mock of his career. Cole addressed the season he could get to the was a year since that might be a year ago. That won't be a problem because Cole's no stranger of pain. Time for talk was over. Cole's finally close to the time in the main event. The fans chanted with him in his face. So, we got John Silver versus Adam Cole. Silver is not Cole Prince. So, Cole was found with pump kick. Punches were thrown downward. And Cole felt dizzy but crunched him. Silver uses muscle man move to toss Cole around the ring as a match progressed. Silver fired for strike. Cole cut the rally short with a suplex shoulder breaker. Later, Silver pounced for a clothesline. Joseph Silver has a kick to the head. 
Max Jackson continually paced the cold flow of the rope break to break the pinfall. Dark went around to stop the shenanigans, but apparently was shame. Distracted, Cole took a little blow. Silver blocked it, kicked Cole in the jowls. Instead, Hoover was a custom victory with a spinner Liger bomb. One, two, Cole kicked out, had to take more punishment. Cole took the tie with a super kick to the face, took him to the back of the head, a running knee to, for the win. Adam Cole defeated John Silver. Now, this was a great show. There was a good promo between Punk and Eddie Kingston. Next week is going to be a contract signing between Hangman Page and Omega. So, I hope that. I felt like in the Punk and Kingston, I feel there was a deep backstory to the days of Chikara, IWA, and Mid South. So, that was Rampage, and I'll see y'all next Saturday for another review. I'll see you all later. This is Augusta Ali Podcast. Bye.